Welcome to the CrossFit Max Podcast. What is going on, beautiful people? I am stoked that you're here today. The topic is something that I get asked all the time. Coach, what supplements should I take? Or coach, what supplements do you take? So we decide to cover this topic for a second time, and we hope you get some good value. If you do want to help support us, in the links down below, you can actually buy us a protein shake, but only if you feel like you got some good value. All right, enough of the intro. Let's get into today's episode. All right, take two. Here we go. What's up, gang? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> How are we doing today? Hopefully, you guys are having a fabulous day on this glorious <laughs> Wednesday that we're dropping this podcast. May 15th. Hell yeah. Susie, we're recording this on Tuesday, May 14th, one month. Out from our due date. Oh, snap. But due dates, statistically, only 4% of babies are actually born on their due date. So it actually means nothing. True that. But yeah. Our baby's going to be born in two weeks. Wow. Crazy. You heard it here first, guys. End of May. Let's see how this holds up. As we were front squatting earlier, I was really thinking like, Baby. <laughs> <laughs> you're coming up soon love yeah it is it is rapidly approaching and i'm really looking forward to not being pregnant so since Susie is close to delivering a wonderful human into this world soon our delicious son she is also going to be exiting this gym for a decent amount of time not too long like a few months Decent amount of time, <laughs> and the business must go on. So You're we have some fun. Probably not going to survive without me. Definitely not. The business is actually going to go under. Yeah, we just yeah. given up now, guys. <laughs> we have some exciting things in the works, though. Good transition, honey. To get ready for your departure <laughs> but also we got some out cool with the things. old, in with the new. Is that what you're saying, babe? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So and we have a few. I'm the old in this scenario. <laughs> we have a few things that are. I mean, we've spoken on this podcast about the things we've been working on, but things are happening live right now. I like really like right now they're happening. Our echo bikes are in a truck somewhere coming here. <laughs> <laughs> they were probably in the same truck they were in yesterday when they were supposed to come here yesterday. <laughs> so we got four echo bikes Woo! on the way. We ordered them a little bit more than a week ago. Yeah. They were shipped from Rogue, which is in Columbus, Ohio, and was uh, technically in Lachine yesterday morning. <laughs> or actually, it was t in Lachine on friday or saturday for those who don't know that's a few suburbs over from where we are right now yeah it's about a 20 minute drive from here and uh and yeah so it was there on friday or saturday it was shipped out monday morning at 9 11 a.m and i sat at these big windows we have like a little puppy dog like a like a little puppy just when are those echo bikes coming oh there's a truck oh there's another truck oh. friend friend is that the main one yeah. And uh, didn't growl. There was no growling. But uh, until about 8 p.m. when they still hadn't arrived. And then he so, was like. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> then I was super pissed. But yeah, so our Echo Bikes did not get delivered yesterday. Hopefully they will be delivered today. They were shipped again from Lachine this morning out for delivery to Pierrefonds, which is not far. Like I said, a 20 minute drive. And uh, but yeah, so we got four Echo Bikes on the way, which I'm stoked about. That machine is just a really solid piece of equipment. Those will be here. Hopefully, by the time they listen to this podcast, we I'm are also really looking forward to it. It's going to be epic. We are also now in the works of c completely changing our athletes lounge. A major upgrade is pending. Yeah, I put up or I've reshared some of the 3D renderings by Ocean and Ali. So we've been working with them. Their company is called Digital Nomad. Digital Nomads, yep. Separate from Ocean's Zulu design, which that's a very successful, uh, des uh, not design, excuse me, uh, art. I don't know. I don't want to. Oh, man. I'm fucking it up here. It's a design company, but for like logos and stuff like that. So, yes. so she's doing. Branding, logos. She, yep. And, and she has a certain. Merch. 
style aesthetic for that brand so she's kind of branching off and trying to do something unique ours when we brought up the idea was very street graffiti art it's not quite her typical genre of art exactly yeah anyway so she came up with a a sick sick design literally insane she we kind of worked with an app called uh miho where we kind of put like a mood board together Mm. and uh and man she created uh something way beyond what i was expecting like artists just think different yeah they see the world in just such a an amazingly unique way and i feel like you can put some ideas on a paper and then she just creates something that like you didn't even know that you needed yeah and now our minds are blown anyway so we're gonna have an epic like big mural on the wall athletes lounge we got justin to start with some of the electrical work yesterday shout out to justin for helping us on that we're gonna be now painting this week so i'm gonna be painting the ceiling and one of the walls black get the painting done before the mural goes up and then mural goes up. Justin's gonna install some some, some really really cool lights some LED under there. Lights. Yeah, some like hexagonal looking, really cool LED lights. We're also also gonna be putting like a really cool LED light strip around the top. Can we which, make it pink? Which is gonna be pink for sure. <laughs> I think technically, Yippee. if we get the one I want, we can actually change the colors if we really Why want would we to change it we would have to be pink all the time <laughs> but yeah so there, we're gonna put that in a cool mirror cool selfie spot yep with the hashtag Get above some instagram content getting pumped out by our clients yeah so how are they supposed to show off their crossfit max booties if they don't have a mirror to take <laughs> selfies in? yeah so that whole athlete's lounge is gonna look really sick but not i mean i'm just saying the athlete's lounge for those of you guys who know what it looks like you know but for those of you guys who don't it's a big portion of our aesthetic of our gym like when you turn you when you walk when you into walk in, when yeah. you walk into the building you see our big crossfit max mural but then when you turn left to go put your bags or jackets or shoes on whatever you're walking towards the athletes lounge and there's a big athletes lounge and we've called it the athletes lounge this whole time but right now it's a little bit of an it's pretty much just painted white and got a, couple, a couple benches of- and Torn up couches. Torn up couches, yeah. Yeah, we're not proud of it. Yeah, so we're upgrading that, and that is happening already. And then um, and then last thing, we hired a new coach, which oh, was yeah. super... Oh, yeah, speaking of booties. We're st- <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> we're super stoked about... New coach alert! Someone we're very proud to be announcing, and that's going to be Coach Vanessa now. So now we're going to have a Coach B and a Coach V. Yeah, yeah. And a Coach M and a Coach A. I know, but they don't when have you... the same ring to it. <laughs> coach S, okay? I'm not yeah. gone forever. <laughs> but yeah, so Coach uh, Vanessa has started her internship. Onboarding process. Yeah, yesterday. So she started shadowing me yesterday for one class. She has now signed up officially for the CrossFit Level 1 in June, which I'm super excited for her to take. Yeah, that's happening in like a month. Yep, exactly. A month, yeah. You might be pushing yeah. out the baby as, I hope. as I she's hope doing her level I hope the baby's already one. out yeah. by then. We'll see. But uh, yeah, so she's starting her shadowing process and then she'll be assisting soon and then she'll be coaching classes. And she's someone that is doing a little bit of a career shift right now. She's been teaching so students for the last... In school, 20, like high school, yeah. Yeah, for like last 20 years. She's taking uh, a break from teaching. There's and no way she's been teaching for 20 years. She's like 30. <laughs> yeah she's been teaching for a while she said so she's she's switching it up a little bit and then i kind of asked her if she'd be interested in maybe coaching because she's made some comments about going to get the level one and, and she's, she's like made, always said like i can help you guys out if you need yeah. help blah, blah, blah. yeah and she has a like the health and fitness is a little bit of her passion too so i cool. love every single little Thing about this human being like I if I could just like kiss every inch of her without it being weird I would like I just love her she She's embodies awesome. everything that 
CrossFit Max is or wants to be or aspires to be. Mm -hmm. She is such a like hard worker when it comes to her own training. Mm -hmm. She is such a welcoming community person. She talks to everybody. She's so positive. She's so light. She's cute and funny. Like she doesn't take life too serious. I really just everything about her is delicious yeah so we're excited to get her on board and uh and yeah she'll be taking some some hours away some pressure away from us as you yeah, as you it's leave a really for good a few time months too because we already have so much like trust and confidence in her as yeah. we kind of enter this new phase of life she's also a mom she has seven or eight year old I think she's seven. Yeah, seven. Karina. Yeah, seven-year-old Karina, who's a little angel girl. But you know, I really look up to the moms in our community even more so now as I approach motherhood, and so it's really nice to have such good examples of moms around. Yeah, so we're going to be adding her to the coaching staff, which is fun, and uh, and yeah, there's there's obviously some other things that we're going to be working on in terms of like equipment orders. We're yeah, going to be extending the rig, the barbells, and all that, and all that jazz. More to come. But, uh, we're doing it in stages exactly yeah so this was otherwise a big... our anxiety might just explode yeah, yeah. <laughs> there, we're having a lot of big life changes that are happening right now everybody <laughs> yep so all fun stuff yeah. the gym is gonna look completely different over i would say the next two months it's gonna in the next couple of weeks it's gonna look real different but i mean in the next like really two months it's gonna be night and day from what it looks like uh, now to it's what it's going to look like. It's crazy to think, like, we're coming up on our two-year gym anniversary this summer. And, you know, if you would have told me two years ago that we would already be, like, reinvesting and doing all these cool things, mm-hmm. um, I would have been really surprised. Yep. So it's, and so it's very exciting. Yeah, it's coming together here. And thanks to all you guys, the community members and stuff. Massive thank you to the community, our Max Fit course, the Ultimate Team Race fundraiser is a major part of how we're able to make all of these changes. Yep. The contributions from the community have been outstanding. Yep. And appreciated. Very appreciated. Yep. So all remember right. that when you're biking on your Echo bike, you bought it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. All right. So banter topic over lots mm. of fun things coming fun things so many fun things, fun things coming across it max and yeah we're gonna do a topic today that we have maybe already discussed in the past but i feel like every couple months someone suggests we should do an episode on supplements people always ask us about supplements as well like this is just an ongoing discussion that we're having constantly yeah so let's make another one another one based on <laughs> maybe a i don't even know when we released it but we released it maybe s- at least eight months ago i would imagine it was like i feel like before winter yeah it was yeah, like so. leading into winter i think we talked about supplementation so so maybe we can i mean the supplements for me stay relatively the same but it, it is obviously different seasons now we are going into spring or we're in spring sorry we're going into summer soon um but yeah let, let's talk about some of the major supplements that i mean right now you're on a bunch of different stuff going on because you're i'm baby taking human growing <laughs> epic amounts of iron <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah susie's been extremely deficient in iron and even supplementation for iron hasn't been helping so now so she's we're going on the, straight to the vein now yeah now she's on transfusions and stuff but that, that's pretty rare that's um well yeah so let's talk any let's talk about supplements <laughs> the yeah. two two components that i always like to think about for supplementation is health supplements and then the performance supplements okay and distinct distinguish dis, yep dis- <laughs> I like how you're distinguishing them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And okay. <laughs> <laughs> Baby brain. Uh, I don't know where to go from here. <laughs> but yes, <laughs> I have distinguished those two. <laughs> Health and performance. All right. Now, something that I feel like it is super common is that so many people have this huge fear factor 
over supplements. And that's because maybe... Lack of understanding. Yeah, the lack of understanding, the lack of knowledge, the lack Mm -hmm. of like research that's done on your own end. And so I, I would encourage anyone to not just listen to this podcast and say, okay, I need to take supplement X because... Coach B on the CrossFit Max podcast said I that he takes it. What I would suggest Just you do, do as we say. <laughs> what I would suggest you do is look it up yourself. Yeah. Try to find some sort of you know research and knowledge on the topic. This mm-hmm. way. It'll help you understand why you should be taking these things and not just taking it from my word. Your word um, is the word. <laughs> but also this way you could be able to like truly understand and and it'll it'll help you also develop the habit of taking that supplement. Yeah, I guess if you have like a, a why behind taking it, mm-hmm. it makes your consistency of taking it more likely. Yeah. Or you're lucky and you're married to Brandon and he puts them out on the counter for you every morning and forces you to take them. Exactly. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm taken, so none of you guys can do that. Sorry, ladies. (laughs) Lock that one down. Yeah. Um, And gentlemen. And gentlemen. (laughs) (laughs) So let's go into health supplements. I'm I'm trying to think right now. Vitamin D. Yeah. I would say that there's maybe three health supplements that I take on the daily omega oh four actually four shoot i forgot one yeah take four so number one Susie called it vitamin d is just gonna spit them all out there and watch vitamin d <laughs> omega-3 creatine no so vitamin uh, <laughs> collagen <laughs> vitamin d oh shoot that's greens not, yeah let's talk about that so <laughs> so the first one i would highly highly recommend especially anybody who's in canada most of the u.s pretty much Europe, anyone of the Northern Hemisphere who experiences lots of clouds, lots of rain. Anyone except for our friends who live in Australia. Lots of snow, lots of being indoors because the weather is cold outside. Darkness. Darkness. So, and that would be vitamin D for sure. So vitamin D is a crucial vitamin that helps with our overall health. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not just, I'm, talking joint health i'm talking immune health Mm -hmm. i'm talking cellular health just overall emotional health like mental health right there's a plethora of reasons why you should be taking vitamin d3 i take four thousand units of vitamin d throughout most of the year for pretty much eight months roughly i'm still taking it's may 14th right now and i'm still taking four thousand units so that's typically four pills and the pills for vitamin d are very 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 small they're very cute (laughs) so i take four thousand of those every day well not four thousand pills four thousand units (laughs) four pills four pills four thousand units but some pills might be different so i recommend up to about five thousand units per day okay and just an FYI, it's not really, well, I shouldn't say not really, but it's really, really hard to overdose on vitamin D. And what I mean by that is like, if you were to overdose on vitamin D, you would have to take like 50,000 units of vitamin D every single day for literally probably a month or months on end so don't be afraid to up your dosage a little and i doubt that someone's taking 500 pills of vitamin d every single day so that would be strenuous yeah so (laughs) i would recommend vitamin d every single day for the reason that we get vitamin d from the sunlight exposure on our skin which if you think about it you probably don't get that much and for you to get enough vitamin d exposure you need to have roughly 30 to 60 minutes of full body so i'm talking like sunlight direct sunlight during peak hours of the day so you have to also consider that that's not with like sunscreen right so sunscreen blocks the the sunlight on your skin so or the absorption i should say so we're talking like full body, like in your underwear or bathing suit, something like that, right? And I doubt that at one in the afternoon. Yeah, like during your work day, you're one, not like, sorry, I have to strip down. Yeah, exactly. Between like either 12 and 3 p.m. that you're getting like 
an hour or 30 to 60 minutes of full body sun exposure. No one's walking their dog in the nude. Exactly. And the, I mean, for a good period of this year, so for six months, you're probably in a sweater or a jacket, pants on, like most of the time, hat and gloves on. Right. Like you're getting very minimal. You you wake up in your house, you get in your car, you're not getting any sunlight exposure. You go to your office, you work inside, you leave your office in your car again, you go to the gym, which is inside, and then you go home, which is inside. And then next thing you know, you're not getting any vitamin D at right. all. So I find I've been taking it, I would probably say for mm, over, over five years, every single day. And I find it's a big one for my mental health as well. Mm-hmm. Like immu- Yeah, you get seasonal. Uh... Yeah, seasonal depression for sure. Like I feel like when it gets darker outside for more often, I just get like more down, more sad. Um, so I find that vitamin D has helped a lot on that aspect of just feeling more positive emotions. Yep. And I've also felt it's helped me a lot in terms of immune health, like having a stronger immune system, Especially getting like sick less at often. Especially like working gym, like working with the public, like we ought to do everything we can. Yeah. So I would encourage everybody. I know a lot of doctors will will prescribe someone like one pill of 10,000 units for the entire like just one pill at the beginning of the week i would strongly discourage that take it every single day eventually just stay in the habit just stay in the habit of that if you take you're gonna it, be more successful if you take it all in one shot you're essentially your body your body's just like it's gone in your system after a day or two let's say you know like that vitamin d is not going to stay in there for the entire week just get into the the habit of taking it every single day you can take upwards of even up to five thousand units and you'll be fine during the summertime i have a flexible I have flexible hours at this at this job I like to pull out the bike in like into the actual sunshine and I'll and I'll You're pedal like a little salamander yeah I love this I love this the the heat and the feeling of sun shining on my skin I freaking love it so I'll literally just go out in my shorts pull out the bike or and just pedal for 20 to 30 minutes and I freaking love that. So I'll reduce it, but I'll still take it during this during the summertime. I'll still take like two thousand units or maybe even three thousand units a day. Yeah. So just check out your whatever vitamin D three pill you're gonna get. Check out how much each pill is, um, the quantity of each pill. Yeah. Most of them, a or, good chunk of them, are a thousand. There's some that are five hundred. There's I've some seen. that are five hundred. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and yeah, so that that's supplement number one. I find it's the most, for me personally, the most important supplement. Um, yeah. Number two. Omega-3. Omega-3, a great one for joint health. So it's an anti-inflammatory. Yes. You can get it from fish. You can, if you eat enough fish or good quality fish, you can get a decent amount. I we typically do not. do not eat a lot of fish. You gotta eat more fish. So I supplement with omega three. Even if you eat, if you're like, I hear this all the time. Someone's like, yeah, yeah, but I eat fish. And I say like, well, how many times do you eat fish per week? And they're like, oh, at least once. I'm like, okay, so you eat fish once per week. Like this is a supplement that should be into your system daily, daily, every single day. And I doubt you're eating fish every day, or I doubt you're eating fish three or even four times per week. Um, so for me personally, it's a great one. Really good for your joint health has anti-inflammatory properties so really good for um your mood as well right. your brain your heart your essentially your cardiovascular system helps with recovery as well for for exercise and stuff joint health and all that so this is definitely something that has been researched a lot over the last couple decades yep. so getting a good quality omega-3 i take three pills per day which my pills are one gram so 1000 milligrams so i take uh, three grams of omega-3 pills every single day nice and i just a little note here on this because you know Susie's mentioned it to me before and other people have mentioned about like the burping sensation you burp and it tastes like fish yeah exactly so i typically take all my supplements before i eat breakfast like as i'm cooking and preparing my breakfast or as i've cooked my breakfast i drink all my or i take all my supplements right before i'm about to to eat my eggs then you cover them up in your tummy with some nice eggs and protein breakfast and then when you burp you taste eggs instead of fish oil (laughs) (laughs) i typically don't burp 
I don't, I don't know. People have mentioned that to me. It's not well, something. Well, I don't know if you've <laughs> ever been 35 weeks pregnant, but burping is pretty much the <laughs> happening every 20 minutes for me. <laughs> no, no, don't get defensive, love. <laughs> I'm just but, a gassy gal. Yeah. So I, I know people have mentioned that to me. I don't particularly feel that. But again, you could take upwards of five pills a day. You can take five grams, so 5,000 milligrams. Um, but yeah, it's something that I felt has helped a lot with my joints. I feel like I always kind of have nagging knees. Good for knees. your dogs too, guys. Good for your dogs as well, yeah. Um, but yeah, I typically deal with like nagging knees and, and joints here and there, especially, you know, we are weight training. I You are demanding a lot of your body. Exactly. So it does feel nice on my joints. And, uh, and yeah, I know that there's tons of like health benefits that come with it in terms of like the anti-inflammatory properties. It's good for your heart, good for your lungs and all that stuff. So omega-3 is definitely a standard in the health stack department. Number three. Greens. Greens. This is something. <laughs> My contribution to this podcast is wild. Yeah, you're killing it. Thanks. You're welcome. Greens is something that I've played around with for maybe only the last couple years, maybe yeah. two to th maybe three years that I've been playing around with it. Mm -hmm. Greens, the green supplement I'm taking right now is from the Ghost line that we sell at the gym. It, I take a lime flavored one and I actually really love the taste of it. It doesn't taste had it actually tastes taste like relatively good dirt. no it does not and um yeah i'm just really enjoying it so in terms of like overall greens i'm not someone that eats a ton of vegetables throughout the day yeah maybe people listening to this might eat a bunch of greens and a bunch a bunch of vegetables two to maybe even three times per day mm -hmm. for me I don't really particularly like to eat a lot of vegetables. I know that they're healthy. We always have one meal where we have a lot of vegetables, whether that's a big salad in the evening time or whether that's a bunch of, you know, grilled or steamed vegetables that we'll have. Yeah. But for me, I would like to get Throughout more than day, that. Yeah. But I just don't do it in terms of food. So it's a nice supplement. But even if I do have days where I do eat two meals where I have a lot of vegetables in it, I still like to get all the micronutrients that you can get from a greens product. Right. Helps with your gut health. Again, helps with joint health, helps with your mood, helps with mental health. Your digestive system. Your digestive system. So that's what I mean by gut health. Sorry. Oh. Um, yeah, you're... Durr. That's but, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like it, it's... Everybody knows that vegetables are really good for you. This one it has a ton of different greens in there for you. Micronutrients. Packed with micronutrients. Got some fiber in there as well. So for me, it's something that I drink first thing in the morning. And I and I talked about what do I take all my supplements. I Right before I eat breakfast, well, I'll fill up a glass of water, drink it, fill up another glass of water, put my greens in stir the greens up and then I'll take my supplements with the greens and then I'll eat my breakfast right after and drink your coffee after and drink my coffee after all of that process You're is such done good boy. yeah so that's kind of my system but in terms of you know we know everybody should be eating more vegetables 100%. and consuming more greens yeah. even if you are someone that feels like they get a lot of vegetables in the system hey you could still probably improve there's by always room greens. for improvement yeah you can't eat too many vegetables exactly you're not gonna turn green i promise <laughs> the other one uh well, the other two that i'll take yeah, i forgot about the collagen one so collagen i just put in my coffee every single morning Me too i'm good yeah. about that one <laughs> yeah we are pretty good about that one now now we've built the habit into dumping it into your coffee every morning yeah. so that's good um, yeah, so collagen is a type of protein that's really good for your skin, your your hair, it's like your bone, nails. Right? Like so, no, technically, well, the one that we get, you can get different types of collagen. You can get it like um, a plant based one. You can get it from fish. You can get it from the one that we get is um, from cows. Yeah. So it sounds gross, but um, it's essentially breaks down the protein or the the amino acid that you get from the skin of the cow cow skin exactly that's what we're putting in our yeah, coffee every yeah. morning which tastes I, like nothing and tastes you know like absolutely nothing yeah if you don't know you know that i wouldn't lie to you about <laughs> the taste of something yeah and collagen literally tastes like nothing yep 
So I take that every single morning. It's a nice way to get an extra 10 grams of protein into your system, but it's a, your body will use that protein differently, meaning um, we're going to get into the performance side where we're going to talk about whey protein in a second, but whey protein, for example, the amino acid that we break down from that protein works really well for like our muscle tissue for repairing muscles. And right. But collagen is more for bone and skin and nails and exactly, hair. Exactly. Yeah. So and honestly, for my girlies, your nails are going to be thicker. Your hair is going to be thicker. Like mm-hmm. those are good benefits. Yep. So I take collagen every single morning. It's not a huge amount. We, we take I think it's nine grams or 10 grams. It's like two scoops in our coffee. Stir it around and you don't even know it's there. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Boom. Last one I take for health reasons is magnesium. And I've been on a little bit of a magnesium kick over the last three, four months. I've been playing around with that. And I've been taking it every night before bed. And I take it like literally as I'm brushing my teeth. So pop that pill in and I'll brush my teeth and that's been my routine the last few months and yeah just magnesium is one of the major electrolytes we use in our body so it really helps with like muscle function muscle recovery it also helps with um energy it helps morning with, sickness helps if with you're sleep pregnant. does it do you find <laughs> yeah yeah so um it really to me it, it's something that I have noticed has helped a lot with my deeper parts of sleep or staying asleep throughout the night yeah that's something you've struggled with your whole life i feel like i've been taking this magnesium pretty consistently this year or maybe like later into january like i sh- right sometimes you fall asleep before me now it must be the magnesium Actually, i would say yeah well maybe i don't know i've been taking it's it wild. i've been taking it ever since we got back from australia i don't think i've like up until this year i don't think i ever saw brown in sleep because i would go to sleep first and wake up <laughs> second <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know if it, nothing is ever like this is the magic. There's no magic pill in supplements. Right. But I do feel like I'm able to fall asleep a little bit better. I'm able to stay into deeper parts of sleep throughout the night. And I'm waking up feeling a lot better. More rested. More rested. Can't so, really. Yeah, it, it, it's one of the major electrolytes that our body absolutely needs and we like most people don't get enough magnesium from their food so yeah so i've been supplementing it i've just been taking one pill which is i believe 200 milligrams of magnesium i think it's 200 milligrams and uh and i've been taking that so that's like literally the container is next to my toothbrush so it's been like a, a health habit. I really of mine. admire your dedication. Like you're so good at setting yourself up for success in these things. <laughs> yeah, well, because if you don't, if you make the friction too hard, you're gonna be always, oh shoot, I forgot to take this, or oh, I forgot to do that, no, and you I'm have to do it over and over again. Good. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. Thank you. But again, like going back to the magnesium, like it's it's next to the next to my toothbrush as i'm grabbing my toothbrush i literally see the container of magnesium so it's hard for me to not acknowledge and it's hard to forget that if i don't take it it's usually because i chose not to like you're choosing not to do it if it's right next to your toothbrush and you can see the container there so for me now literally ever since we got back from australia so i guess that's like february so since february to now i've taken it i would say almost every single night and I found it a huge help in my sleep department. I've noticed a huge difference in your sleep. But yeah. also, I think my sleep is getting worse just because of the True. stage of pregnancy I'm in. So yeah. I'm, I'm like, yeah, but even before you, you, you would more. sleep more, but even before, like, you would still, you would still stay on your phone a little bit before bed. Like, we both would, but then you would go to sleep and then I would stay up. Now it's now the it's opposite. The around, now, literally, yeah. I'm like on my phone for like, a few minutes and then instantly want to just close my eyes we're just putting ourselves on blast that we scroll on our phones before bed yeah i mean it is what it is i feel like most people do that but i know but like we're supposed to be the epitome of health we just read <laughs> we read self-help books and then we go to bed <laughs> with with the smell of incense burning in our room so that kind of recaps. <laughs> we don't scroll TikTok before bed. <laughs> that would be so wildly inappropriate. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So that kind of recaps the health. Health. Yeah. So let's do a quick cover. We did vitamin D, which I take 4,000 units. You could take up to 5,000 if you wanted. 
Uh, second one was omega-3. Third one was greens. greens. Fourth one was collagen, which that could be like argued like more on the individual. I think the first three, it like almost everybody should be taking those. Uh, collagen is the fourth one that you can consider doing for sure. But I feel like as you get older, collagen becomes more important. Yeah, I think it's great for your From joints. Great my for, perspective, like yeah. just start now, get the habit now because yeah. as your joints and hair and nails and stuff become like more fragile as you age, yep. you really want to be doing everything you can to slow that process. Yeah, I mean, for all, for both men and women, but also like one of the main thing that women deal with is osteoporosis. osteoporosis and that's just arthritis of your bones, right? So getting collagen in right now, like why not start, start that up, put that next. Mm -hmm. we just talked about our pills or our magnesium being right next to my toothbrush, put your collagen next right to next to your, your coffee. coffee, like just have it there, you know? And, um, and then the last one was magnesium for, for sleep purposes. I find it's really, really helped. So that kind of covers the health. It's good if you also are someone who like cramps a lot. Magnesium yeah, helps absolutely, with cramping. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. good for pregnancy. Take it if you're pregnant. Yeah. So th that's the health stack that I've been playing around with recently. And I think you guys should definitely consider it. Again, do your research. Figure out what you're lacking. But I do feel like it helps a lot. Performance. On, on the performance side of things. Well, they, they go hand in hand, right? Like the performance side is not just for performance. It is to help with the performance, but it also, is all the supplements related. that I'm going to say right now, they're mostly also for health purposes as well. Right. So the one I mentioned before was whey protein. We take a very delicious whey protein so now. So freaking also, yummy. It tastes like a dessert. Yeah, from the Ghost supplement, li supplement line, excuse mm -hmm. me, and man, this company has got like the best flavor profiles I find. Right now we're drinking Chips Ahoy protein. Yeah. And like so it's good. like you're transported back to your childhood every time you drink it. Yeah. And it's like you're eating Chips Ahoy cookies. Yeah. Yeah. Anyhow. So protein is to help with well, first of Recovery? all, on, on a health on a health range, most people are not getting Enough. The optimal amount of protein they should be getting in a day, like they're getting enough to survive, but most people are on the lower end of what they should strive to hit. Right. So overall, just getting a supplement into your system to get 25 or even 30 or even up to 40 grams of protein just from a scoop inside either mm -hmm. milk or I like to just drink it with water because I find it tastes good with water you know as well. What? Um, one of our clients told me she put it with her Greek yogurt. Yeah, and it tasted yeah. delicious. Yeah, people can mix it up with Greek yogurt, which Greek yogurt has a lot of protein in as well. So it takes something that doesn't taste that great, in my opinion. Yeah, it's and you're a little adding, like, bit of an acquired you're, taste. You're adding good flavor to it, and then you can make like a nice chocolatey pudding, you know, with that Greek yogurt. Yeah. So, anyways, most people are not getting adequate amount. Oh no, that's not true. Most people are not getting optimal amounts of protein throughout their day so just having that supplement that tastes really good that's very convenient and also cheap because remember although the jug might be an expensive one shot the amount it per costs serve. per serving is relatively low we're talking in the couple of dollar range right if you buy right. if you buy a jug of two pounds for seventy dollars let's say well that'll give you 30 servings so it's you know costing two dollars fifty cents whatever the math is per serving right. you look at like a chicken breast you're looking at now it's coming a little bit more expensive a steak even more expensive right so it's a relatively cheap product for sure will help with tons of things on the health side of things but in terms of like the performance i find it helps me get to my optimal level to be able to recover from my workouts and to be able to also build muscle tissue yep. which is one of my main goals is i'm gains tr trying not to try not to lose my muscle tissue as i'm trying to um yeah, increase lose, your endurance capacity yeah and as fat i'm trying loss. to lose fat at the same time so it's even more important so yeah whey protein is one of the major ones the other major one is creatine, which you can also argue that creatine could be on the health side as well. We're starting to see a ton of research benefits from creatine on the cognitive side of things, so brain health. But in terms of creatine monohydrate, it is the 
most researched supplement for the last five decades, for the last 50 years. And it has been proven time and time again that it is that it works it'll help with your strength it'll help increase your power it'll help build some muscle tissue it'll help with hydration it'll now with now we're starting to see like really really good like cognitive with memory with focus so check out a creatine monohydrate you should be absolutely you should be if you haven't taken it yet, sometimes they will say you need a loading phase to get like to optimal levels of creatine, but you don't necessarily need that, which also, by the way, guys, we all have creatine levels in our body, so it's not an unnatural product. It is a very natural product. As humans, we all have creatine levels. It's just our, let's call it our sink is not very full when we're trying to use that and what we're trying to do is we're trying to fill up our sink to get optimal amounts of creatine storage in our body for energy purposes and um so we got to do to reach those optimal levels of creatine is we supplement with it and typically the you want to supplement between three to five grams of creatine monohydrate every single day you don't need a loading phase you could if you want to just get it going really quick at the beginning but to me just start the habit of taking it every single day it's not it's not a supplement that you can take twice a week or three times a week you have to be consistent you have to take it almost every single day if you really 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 want to see the actual effects of it and this is I, you know, I said before, there's no magic pill, but let's just say this is as close to a magic supplement as it gets because you will see strength benefits. You will see power benefits. Your numbers on the barbell will go up if you do take this and you do, you know, you got to focus on everything. You know, if you're training hard, if you're sleeping well, if you're eating right, right. and you're supplementing creatine, you will see a difference. And if you got, if you're doing all the other things and the only difference is creatine you will see a difference in your strength numbers they will go up for sure and you will feel higher amounts of energy when you're training and stuff like that so creatine monohydrate is an absolute must again do your research check it out but i would highly recommend everybody be taking it another pre-workout yeah, pre-workout. This is this is less on the health side of things. This is more on this is really like a performance supplement. I like to take a pre-workout. I've been taking a pre-workout for I don't know how many years, several years, almost since I've been starting CrossFit. I take a, now I'm taking the Ghost pre-workout. Essentially, it gives you that creatine that you need. It helps usually it has like beta alanine in in pre-workout. We all have beta alanine in our body as well, but beta alanine by supplementing beta alanine, it helps kind of suppress that lactate buildup, I guess, or the feeling that, you know, when you do a lot of squats, that burning, you have that extreme burn in your quads and beta alanine will help you not feel that as much and be able to push through a little bit. Yeah. So there's a few things in pre-workout, but the main thing is really the caffeine that kind of gives you a nice little boost to wake you up a little bit so i'll take a pre-workout anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes before before my workout uh, with a small amount of water for some reason a lot of people will drink it throughout their entire workout which is not the way to go don't do that you want to drink it before this way you feel the effects pre-workout guys pre yeah like before and you definitely don't want to drink it so far out i've also had people on the other side would be like yeah i finished my pre-workout pre-workout an hour ago and i'm like oh like have you been feeling wired like yeah i've been feeling wired for like 30 40 minutes now i'm like yeah because you're supposed to feel that feeling in your workout you gotta time it guys (laughs) you gotta time it so it just gives a nice optimal use it gives a nice boost of caffeine i like to get about 150 50 ish milligrams of caffeine before i work out i mean Susie always makes fun of me because i'm always like a kid jumping around he's, he goes into like a goofy mood yeah like pre-workout brown and he's like hey guys welcome to class da, 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 da. i'm so excited <laughs> yeah but yeah because Happy it, dog. it gives me that caffeine boost but also like i Susie say i'm being goofy and stuff and i'm like more social and like amped up ready to go but when it comes time to like lift heavy numbers like i'm ready to lift because i'm feeling that high level motivation and pushing like i'm gonna i'm gonna rip this bar off the ground you know like i'm ready 
you know? So for me, pre-workout has been something that I've been taking for many years now. And if you're new to pre-workout, maybe you take like a smaller amount as you first start just yeah. so your body doesn't go into overdrive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So think that I think I'll, I'll name one more supplement more? that can go for performance and health a nice little hybrid here and that is an electrolyte oh, supplement yes. and we use element here oh, element is a nice salty delicious electrolyte we have Very good, as high quality electrolyte really good quality yeah and i would say it's even more important you take it starting roughly now during the later spring time closing in on and summer so start to and get through sweaty. and yeah so you're temperatures are going to be increasing guys we're naturally going to be sweating we're going to be sweating more in our workouts but you're also going to be naturally sweating more throughout your your, day. your day-to-day stuff you whether you're cleaning the house whether you're just at the house whether you're traveling to go to work you're just going to be sweating more and getting in even more electrolytes it's important to drink water but if you just drink water without adequate amount of electrolytes in your body and by electrolytes i'm talking about sodium i'm talking about potassium magnesium, magnesium calcium those are kind of the four uh, chloride also those are like the main ones that you want to get and the elements that we have at the gym are really, really great for that. Essentially, the ratios, it's, it tastes a little bit more salty. And that's because when we exercise, the ratio, the science behind their ratios is, is that's how much electrolytes you lose based on a 60-minute high-intense training session. So as you're coming into the summer months, I would highly recommend you start to take an electrolyte more on the regular. It's not something you have to take every single day, but it is something you should be mindful of. Like dehydration is going to happen as it gets hotter. You're going to get into workouts. You you might feel dizzy. You you might feel headaches prior or post or during. Is there like a timing on electrolytes? Yeah. I would always recommend you drink it before, Okay, but really there's not a huge, it's not crazy difference. Gotcha. The most the the time you're actually the most dehydrated is in the morning when you wake right, up. Right, because you've been sleeping all night, so yeah. you haven't had any water for yeah. like twelve hours. Yeah, most people haven't had any water for like an eight to twelve hour period, like you said. Most people don't drink water before, right bed. before bed. Yeah, exactly. Most people then go to sleep. Then most people wake up and do their stuff, whatever that is. They shower go for coffee right away, and then they drink yeah coffee right away. And next thing you know, it you think about it, even just eight hours. Even Maybe. even if it's just eight hours, you just went to bed and woke up and then you drank water right away. That's one third of your day that you haven't hydrated as well a, right. at all. Right. So if you push that even more, some people go like 10 to 12 hours and you're thinking, wow, they've gone half of the day without drinking any water or getting any electrolytes in their system, mm. which to me is wild. But as it gets hotter and as it the gym is going to get warmer in here for sure. You're going to sweat more. We don't put more. the AC on, guys, so don't ask. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so an element, an electrolyte, for sure there's going to be performance benefits. You're going to feel, like, way, way sharper in your workouts. You're not going to feel – if you're not getting enough electrolytes, you feel it in your workout. You're feeling low amounts of energy. Yep. You're like, oh, my God, like, my body is just moving slow. You are potentially might cramp up during a workout. Yes outside of the gym in terms of the health side of things if you feel like you deal with migraines or headaches often if Mm. you're feeling um foggy in terms of your thought or just like everything is just like brain fog yeah brain fog you're feeling like really lethargic electrolytes is probably where you're lower on so anyways that kind of gives a quick recap for all of the supplements that i think should be on the table some you might play with, some you might not. Again, do your research, find things out that you might be lacking in. Maybe you might find be sleeping. A system that works for you. Maybe you might be sleeping like an angel and you maybe don't need magnesium. Maybe you're taking in enough magnesium. Or maybe you're like, you know what? I eat a lot of meat throughout the day and I don't need a whey supplement. So maybe you might not need that. Maybe right? you're a veggie monster and you don't need a veggie greens. Exactly. So figure out what works for you. These are like what I find really help. And hopefully you guys get some good value out of that. Yeah. Client of the week. Pew, 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 pew. We mentioned him before, but he has been 
Ultra consistent. Ultra, ultra consistent. He has upped his membership from two to three times per week the Hell last yeah. couple months, and he's been on it his three fitness times gains per week. Have skyrocketed. He's been obviously really fun to have in the group classes. I feel like he was a little bit skeptical about before CrossFit. He joined CrossFit. Oh yeah, he... and he is definitely fully bought in. Yeah. So that client, client of the is, week is Ali. Ali. <laughs> go Ollie, go Ollie. <laughs> Olivier has been, like we said, super consistent. He has also been really fun to coach. He's someone that loves to be coached, like wants to learn. Yeah. He's also very analytical of movement and wants yeah. to like really understand like why he's doing something and how we're supposed to be doing it. Yeah. And he's always trying to improve and he's always just smiling all the time too. It's like a joy to be around. Yeah. It's always fun to see him and Ocean. Their I love partnership having couples together. in the gym community. Yeah. Yeah. So And he's a uh, half of the digital nomad who are helping us get our renovations underway yeah. for our athletes lounge, he's, which we're really grateful for. He's the one that made that sick three D rendering. So. Extremely talented. So yeah. Yep. Anyways, thanks, Ali. Thanks for being a boss CrossFit Max athlete. Yes. Keep up the great work. And uh, thanks to all you guys for listening to this episode. If you want to help support us, you can donate $5 and buy us a protein shake down below. So we can drink our Chips Ahoy protein. Hell yeah. <laughs> and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya. Bye.